Yo, welcome back, Zykor here. And today, in our Re-Legend guide, we have the Spring Water Crop Guide. Now, uh, if you've seen my Spring Crop Guide, uh, I'll be doing this uh, in a similar fashion, uh, basically the same way. Uh, so I'll tell you about the crops, uh, the price of the seeds and where you get them, uh, how much you harvest, how long it takes them to grow, the sale price, the profits, even the buffs. Um, and Trizen helped me by extracting the images, and he also did the calculations for the profits and stuff. And if you like this kind of content and like to see more of it, uh, hit that like button and subscribe, because we really appreciate it, and it really helps us out. So, on to the first crop. The first crop is Plumus, or Plumus, or however you kind of pronounce it. Not fully sure. And they kind of look similar to like a blue plum, maybe? Under underwater? It, so, yeah, it's kind of strange. <laughs> uh, but you can buy them from Amelia for... 150 G per set per seed bag of seeds <laughs> is what it would be, but it's one seed. You only get one plant out of out of every seed, mm. and you get one to two plumas per harvest. They take four days to grow, but they'll regrow in two days, so eh, they regrow pretty good. But if you planted them on day one, that will give you 13 harvests in a single month, or season, however you want to say it. So the sell price of the plumas is 40 G per piece. So that will give you a profit of 370 G to 890 G per month with an average profit of 630 G. And the buffs you get are 10 Stam and 4% MDef for 30 seconds. Now, on to the next crop. The next crop is Sun Kelp, which kind of looks similar to a, like a yellow or golden hibiscus flower. Um, but it's it's underwater, so <laughs> it looks like a hibiscus, but it's kind of a fruit like as well. So <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it is called sun kelp. So maybe it's related to kelp, and you can buy the seeds from Amelia for 60 G per, and when you grow them, you get about one to two per harvest. They take three days to grow to full maturity. So that will get you about nine harvests per month if you start growing them at the beginning of the month. When you sell them, they sell for about 100 G per piece. So the profit ends up being about 360 G to 1,260 G with an average profit of about 810 G. And the buffs you get are 20 Stam and 4% M attack for 30 seconds. So on to the next crop. Now we have Bloomwort. And they look, I guess, kind of similar to a pomegranate. Um, they're red, just like a pomegranate, and look like they kind of have, like, seeds on the inside, but they're also kind of see-through and clearish. And they have a really nice uh, pink reddish glow in the water, so they're kind of cool. And you can buy the seeds for them from Amelia for 750 G per piece. Although per harvest, you only get one of them. And they take seven days to grow, although they do reg uh, regrow in every three days. So that would give you 
eight harvests in a single month per plot. And the sell price is 300 G per piece. So that will give you a profit of 1,650 G per plot. And the average profit is also 1,650 G per plot. <laughs> the buffs you get are 15 stamina and 8% MDEF for 30 seconds. Okay, on to the next one. The next crop in our list is Glowfig, which kind of looks like just a bunch of flowers, um, like a, you know, like a, a bunch you could buy at the flower shop. <laughs> Um, but they could be maybe related to figs, since the name is Glow Fig, <laughs> in a sense. But they're kind of purplish, kind of purplish blue. So they're interesting. Perfect for giving to one of the eligible girls. And you can buy the seeds from Amelia for 260 G, just to give them back to her. And per harvest, you'll get about two to three glow figs per plot. And they take five days to grow to full maturity. So from day one planting, that would give you about five harvests in a single season or month. The sell price is 180 G per piece. Although according to my tests, I did find selling a high quality one is 540 G. So I don't know if that's a bug. So the profit you get is 500 G to 1,400 G per plot with an average profit of 950 G per plot. And the buffs you get are 25 stamina with plus 8% M attack for 30 seconds. Now on to the final crop. And the final crop is Glitter Pod. And they kind of look like a little group of stars, but you know, maybe they're like a little group of star-shaped seeds on the inside of a fruit or something? Who knows, <laughs> maybe. And you can buy the seeds from magenta for 1000 G per seed, which is kind of expensive. <laughs> and when you harvest them, all you get is one per harvest. Although they take 11 days to grow, but they do regrow every two days. So it's not too bad. So from day one, that would net you nine harvests per month or season. And their sell price is 500 G per piece. So that would give you a profit of 3,500 G per plot, with the average profit also being 3,500 G per plot, of course. So the buffs you get is 30% stamina. Yes, a boost of 30% of your stamina. And M attack and MDEF of plus 7% for 30 seconds. So it's actually a pretty good buff. So in conclusion, glitter pods are the best profit for the season of the of all the one all the plants for spring. Water water plants for spring. But uh, they're only there at certain times when uh, magenta is there, so you can only buy them at a certain point during during the month. And if you don't have magenta unlocked yet and you're early on in the game, uh, sun kelp are probably a good option because they only take three days to grow and still get you a good profit. Glow figs, on the other hand, are also a good option if you're strapped for cash. Um, they do give you five harvests per month, so it's kind of a less work for a little bit more profit, although they do cost a little bit more for the initial seeds. 
Bloomwort, on the other hand, are the second best option to glitter pods if Magenta is not hanging around for you, or if, you know if she like refuses to come to the village, <laughs> because they'll give you about sixteen fifty average per month. Plumas, on the other hand, they're just not very good. Uh, they it takes they have 13 harvests in a month so they take a lot of work for not a whole lot of profit they get the worst profit at only 630 G so really the only thing you'd want to keep plumas around for is probably for like taming blips or getting high quality plumas for evolving your blip your blipling that's what it's mainly useful for but I would also recommend uh, just growing a little bit of all the plants uh, as well because of Magnus taming, Magnus evol evolving, and stuff like that. So glitter pods are the best for profit. Blue morts are the second best for profit. Glow figs would be third, and sun kelp would be fourth. Plumas, on the other hand, are just not worth it. So that's it for the spring water crop guide. I will be doing crop guides for the other seasons, both land and water crop guides. I'll separate them just like I did the spring ones. But it does take me a lot of time to get the stock footage and put it all together. But getting more likes on our videos gives me a lot more motivation. So, if you like this video, hit that like button. I really appreciate it, and it really helps us out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit that bell icon, leave a comment, and share it. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.